This guest uh, spent years following Garth's career. Mike Hammond is now a court clerk for Knox County, but he spent years in country music, continues to have those connections. Good to see you. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. Excited about tomorrow night. You're ready to roll, right? We're ready to roll, ready to rock. And Tell what do you have yeah. with you? Well, I first met Garth back uh, around 1990-ish uh, at the radio station WIVK, and at the time, artists would come by the station they were brand new and they would play songs for us. Mm -hmm. And so Garth was one of those who came by with his guitar and he was in our conference room and he just played music and one of the songs was Friends in Low Places. <laughs> so we all knew at that time after hearing him, this guy's going somewhere. He is really going to be big and of course the rest is history. But to commemorate 100 million songs, I received this plaque from Garth, oh, which wow. obviously I'm very proud of. Uh, but this uh, was, uh, you know, personalized for me and also, of course, uh, with the work at the radio station and whatnot. But uh, the fact that he is going to be here tomorrow night is interesting because he was going to do a listener appreciation show for us at the radio station. I think it was back in 1990 or 91. Well, he had just won the week before all those awards on the CMAs. And so we thought, well, he's won all these awards. He may cancel. Well, no, no, no. Gar said, I'm not canceling the show. I, it was a free show. He said, I'm coming. It was at World's Fair Park, and I believe we had 100,000 people there that oh, night. You're kidding. Because people still wow. remember it. Wow, that is an incredible It was story. incredible. So he kept his word. He kept his word, and he was there, and it was one of the best shows that I've ever seen ever, and I'm sure tomorrow night might even top that. And he's coming with this recent award just the other night, Entertainer right. of the Year. Right. He's going to be on a high for sure with all of his fans and inside mm -hmm. Neyland. Did he ever talk about wanting to play Neyland? Not at the time, because at the time, stadium shows were something that a lot of country artists didn't do. And it's only been the last few years that you've seen country artists actually go and play stadiums. And so the fact that they started selling alcohol, I don't know what if that influenced his decision or not. But I also know that he has a soft spot in his heart for Knoxville, like you heard about Ella Garou's. Uh -huh. And of course, with uh, the radio station and, and playing the shows that he did here with our listener appreciations and yeah. so forth. He really loves Knoxville. And so I think that's another reason why he wanted to play Neyland. Uh, it's really cool. It's going to be a fun night, don't you think? It'll be a great night. May and not be his last time back either. No, I think he'll come back. I don't think there's any question. Any guesses on who will show up? We, oh, we're letting know, our viewers pick between I'm, the four there. I'm racking my, I think Kelsey Ballerini that will be one. That was one of my thoughts, too. I think yeah. you'll probably see Peyton. I think you, I don't know if Kenny will be there or not, uh -huh. but you, there's a lot of people with Knoxville ties, but also Garth ties. I wouldn't be surprised to see Blake come in and do Dive Bar. Yeah, I'll be That'll be a special that. time if he does that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Crazy stuff. Maybe Morgan Wallen even. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking, too, sure. yeah. Exactly. Well, all right, good seeing talent. you. Thanks for coming in. We sure, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Happy to be here. What a cool treasure you have. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thanks for showing it to us. And thanks for giving it to me, Mike. <laughs> well, still more to come. I'm live at 5 at 4. Neil